Singer-songwriter Bob Dylan once famously wrote, for the times they are a changin'. Well, we have certainly been on the front lines to witness change smacking us left and right for the past year, whether it was change occurring or change needed. Ironically, whatever the subject matter, be it economic turbulence, human unrest, or political conundrums in need of attention, technology has been the catalyst in establishing a solid foundation in order to push us forward through tough times. Cancer is a term, condition, disease we are all too familiar with. Cancer is defined as abnormal cells that divide uncontrollably and have the ability to infiltrate and destroy normal body tissue. Complicated, yes, but technology may have a solution. We're now joined by Emily Jenkins, who possesses a wealth of knowledge regarding technology's role in keeping us at our best when combating this disease. Emily is the Vice President of Marketing at Electa a company launching groundbreaking advancements to aid and expedite our battle with what some call human enemy number one, cancer. Thank you for joining us, Emily. Thank you, Mark. It's a pleasure to be here. This has been an emotional time for many. We've been enduring a pandemic, of course, yet we must remember that we still face the long-term ongoing battle with cancer. Can you please give us some insight as to where we are, technologically speaking, in battling cancer? It certainly has been an emotional and challenging year for many, but especially challenging for patients battling cancer. And there are many exciting new technologies in the field, but battling cancer remains a long and complex process for many. Uh, when a patient is diagnosed with cancer, depending on the type of cancer, the stage of the cancer, and the location of the cancer, uh, a treatment plan will be put together including things like chemotherapy, radiation therapy, surgery, and immunotherapy. Radiation therapy is used in about 50% of patients battling cancer, and it's a great tool to treat cancer because it's non-invasive, and it has minimal side effects compared to something like chemotherapy. Uh, we still have technical challenges in the field of radiation therapy, and one of the largest challenges is knowing that we're delivering the radiation to the tumor and minimizing the radiation to healthy tissue, um, because we need to be as precise as possible when we're delivering radiation. So how does Electa see the future of treating cancer? Do you see a paradigm shift of sorts underway? We certainly do see a paradigm shift in the field of cancer care. And where we think it's moving is to something called precision medicine, which is the concept of delivering care to a patient in a way that's completely customized and tailored to their needs and their disease. Electa as a company has been investing in products that enable our users to deliver precision radiation therapy for years. With our latest product, Electa Unity, and our flagship product, we further that mission by combining a diagnostic MRI machine with the radiation treatment device, uh, enabling our users to see clearly where they want to deliver the radiation and target the tumor with a high degree of precision. Stepping into the shoes of a healthcare worker, how and why will Electa's magnetic resonance radiation therapy enable them to provide better treatment for those battling cancer? With the introduction of Electa Unity, um, we're now combining diagnostic MRI images with a treatment device, and we're using those images to deliver a more precise treatment for that patient, a more personalized treatment for that patient. So we take an MRI image and then we use that image in three ways. The first way we're using MRI imaging is to compare it to the plan that was created for that patient and to make any changes necessary to account for changes in the tumor shape or changes in the tumor location. The second way we're using MRI imaging is actually to watch the tumor during treatment um, to see how it's moving in relation to the plan. And the third way we use the MRI imaging is to actually look at how the tumor is responding to radiation using tools that we call functional imaging. So all of this combined gives our users an unprecedented amount of information about the patient real time, and it's enabling people to either deliver higher doses of radiation and shorten the courses of treatment, or treat cancers that were previously not treatable with radiation. For all of those fighting the battle on both sides, what elements contribute to the uniqueness of Electa's Unity system? The Electa Unity provides an unprecedented amount of information to the clinical users at the time of treatment. Um, combining this high resolution, uh, high field strength MRI with a radiation treatment device was something that many people thought impossible. And it actually took us 20 years to bring this system um, to an, an FDA approved product. And the adoption of the technology has surpassed our expectations. 
This is very exciting technology. Emily, I'm certain those watching are curious as to what types of cancer and patients will benefit from this. So the Unity system can be used to treat any type of cancer where radiation is indicated, and to date we've treated over 40 different types of cancer. So any type of cancer that's soft tissue, where there might be changes due to breathing, um, or any type of internal motion, uh, is where the elective Unity can provide value to the care team. Uh, we have a global consortium where we're actually studying the clinical impact of this technology, and we're focused on 12 disease sites. And joining us now, along with Emily, to talk more about this from a clinician's view is Dr. Eugene Shea with Genesis Care. Dr. Shea is a renowned physician in the field of cancer technology. Welcome, doctor. Thanks, Mark. It's great to be here. Dr. Shea, as a well-noted radiation oncologist, from your perspective, how major is this breakthrough technology in the fight against cancer? As a radiation oncologist, I believe that the fusion of MRI imaging technology and radiation treatment technology in the elected unity represents a paradigm shift in how we can approach many of our patients. Never before have we been able to visualize the tumor, visualize the surrounding normal tissues, and in real time make adjustments to accurately target the cancer, minimize side effects, and create best outcomes. This represents a true paradigm shift in the field of radiation oncology. Well, I'm certain you will get no argument with that. Emily, question for you. What types of hospitals will have this latest device? So our current users range from academic medical centers, community hospitals, to freestanding centers like Genesis Care. And there's two main reasons we've had such success with this product. First, it has a broad range of clinical applications. And second, the shortening of radiation courses of treatment aligns with more operational efficiency and a better patient experience, which is a real trend in the industry today. I must say, here at Genesis Care, we believe that all of our patients deserve the best technology and the best treatments delivered close to home. That's why we've partnered with Electa uh, to bring state-of-the-art radiation technology to our patients across the globe in the United States, the United Kingdom, Spain, and Australia. We believe that all of our patients deserve to receive the best treatments, be able to stay at home, uh, in their beds, continue to work, do the things that they enjoy, and be around their friends and family. And with all the isolation we've been experiencing during the pandemic, especially those who are ill and unable to see their loved ones, togetherness in tough times has become monumental. Dr. Shea, as a radiation oncologist, how do you see this technology changing the course of cancer treatment and its hopeful eradication? Never before have we been able to combine the best of imaging technology in MRI the best of accelerator technology in ELECTA linear accelerators in the ELECTA unity to best accurately target our patient's tumors, best protect their normal tissues that surround those tumors. For example, I treat a lot of prostate patients. Prostate cancer is typically planned um, on a CAT scan where the CAT scan is taken days to weeks before the treatment begins. These plans are amazing these days. They're um, highly accurate, targeting the prostate, minimizing the dose to the normal tissues. The problem is that while the plans are static, patients are not. Their prostate, their rectum, their bladder, the normal tissues are moving on a daily basis. The beauty of the Electa Unity allows us to real-time image with the best imaging possible, to real-time plan, to adapt the plan to the daily changes and to deliver a fast, uh, a painless treatment that effectively uh, cures patients of their cancer and minimizes their side effects from treatment. Emily, as we come full circle, what is Electa's long-term vision for this technology? So the Electa Unity system is special because it provides us such a rich data source, so much information about the tumor. So our vision for this system is that rich data source combined with the rapidly advancing strides we're making in software. Um, those two things combined will develop what we would see as a self-driving linear accelerator or something that responds real time to the changes in the patient's body. Um, and this would be a really radical shift in how we treat cancer today. Thank you for your time, Emily and Dr. Shea. Keep up the great work. Thank you for having us, Mark, and for highlighting this technology. Thank you, Mark. I personally, all of us at Genesis Care, are extremely proud to be partnering with Electa 
to be bringing these game-changing, paradigm-changing uh, treatments for all of our patients. Should you have any questions regarding this advancing technology for the treatment and fight against cancer, contact Electa at electa.com unity or log on to techimpact.tv.